Big Girl. Oh, welcome back to Old Tom and his Big Red Chair. As you know, I'm Old Tom and this is my Big Red Comfy Chair. <laughs> well, we've got a fabulous show coming up and, and, and of the weeks to follow, we've got some really, really wonderful people to see, boys and girls. That's right. <laughs> so make sure you keep watching Old Tom and his Big Red Chair. But now, let's go and see what's on the show. It's Old Tom and his Big Red Chair. I'll be back soon. Well, as you can see, boys and girls, I'm back with some more cramps, only because, of course, Miss Tracy is still away. That's right, she's travelling around all these little islands and showing the boys and girls there some wonderful crafts, and everyone's loving Miss Tracy. Yeah, we all love her, don't we? Well, today, I'm going to show you something really, really special. And, and that is, boys and girls, you know, sometimes when we get friends and we want to play our music, well, if it's on our phone, sometimes they can't hear it, can they? No. No, unless you have a phone to drive, but then sometimes you don't hear it anyway. So I'm going to show you how to make your very own stereo system. You see, you see, there's a lot, a lot of the, on, on the craft sites, but I'm going to show you how to make it. Now, first of all, you need two paper cups. Hello, hello. <laughs> or if you want a stereo, hello. That sounds funny, doesn't it? And you need a, the middle of a kitchen roll. There we are, a kitchen roll. Isn't that good? Now, okay, let's start making. First of all, we have it near the bottom of the cup there, and we have to put it on there, and we have to mark around it. You have to mark around it very, very carefully. Oh, we are going to decorate it afterwards. But we mark around it very, very carefully. So, it looks like that. All right, and now we put the other one on, and we have to mark around that about the same distance up. Keep it as close as you can, and we mark around that one too. Like that. Isn't that good? Easy. Isn't that easy? Oh. So now we've got two marked around. Now we have to cut them out. Now this is where you may want to get an adult to help you. Because you can do it with scissors, but it's easier if you use one of these knives here. Um, boy, 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 boys and girls, the problem is, of course, these can cut your fingers off. So you always get an adult, don't you? You must never ever touch one of these. Always ask an adult to do it for you. Would you do that for me? Uh, unless, you know, or you can make it just a little hole in the middle and perhaps get some little tiny scissors. I've got some little scissors. I've got big scissors here and I've got little scissors here. And we could, we could probably cut them with the scissors like this. All right, but you have to be very, very careful. Very careful because it has to go round and round and round in a circle. Wow. And it's, it's really hard sometimes to get it in a circle. So, but if, if it goes over the circle, don't worry, because we can always fill it with a bit of tape afterwards. All right? So we go round the circle like this. And, well, it doesn't matter if it tears a couple little bit. doesn't matter at all, because we've got, we can always use a bit of tape to cover that up. All right? But around the circle like this. Oh, round and round. Get it as close as you can. Like that. Oh. That went, oh, we won't throw it on the floor. And so that goes inside like that, boys and girls. Can you see? You might have to put your fingers inside so you can push it through. And there we are. It's inside. Isn't that good? Can you see it? Hello, I can talk to you. My voice is coming out there. Hello, it's coming out that side now. Hello, it's coming out that side. <laughs> Isn't that good? So, and now we have to do the same with the other cup. So we put on the other, we have marked it. So again, boys and girls, look, we'll just do it, see if we can do it with scissors this time. Ah, it's going to be hard because we've got to make a hole first, haven't we? We've got to make a hole in it. There we go. And we have to be careful because we don't want to stab our fingers. It is best, please, if, 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 get an adult to do this for you. Would you do that for me? I want you to stay safe. So I'd rather you get an adult to do it because adults can do it better than you. And, and you know, we don't want you cutting yourself. No, no, no. So it's very dangerous, so ask the adult to do this for you. And we cut it round with our little scissors. You can use smaller scissors than this too. You can. And we have to cut it round like this, round and round and round. I'm going to show you what it sounds like after two, it's really good. <laughs> and then, almost done it. We hold it up, cut it round. That's it, keep cutting round that circle. Well, like this. So it's about the same as the other one. Doesn't matter if it's just slightly different. And then we'll try it in there too. Yes, it fits in there too. Now, what you'll need, first of all, is you'll need to get 
your phone. This is my phone. Whoa. And we put it on the top in the middle, in the middle, and we have to mark around it. That's it, mark around your phone. Like that, mark around so, so we can see. We've got a nice line there where your phone goes. And that side down there too. And that's it. Can you see that? We have to cut that out now. You have to be very careful with this. Now this is where you really want an adult to help boys or girls because we're going to use one of these very, very sharp. Now you must never ever use one of these. Never ever. Because you can cut your fingers off. They're so sharp. Oh, so sharp you can cut your fingers off. So you can go down like that and cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. And then we have to go cut it that way. Like this, oh, around there, and round that side. Oh. oh, come on, cut, 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 cut. You can use a pair of scissors now. Once you start, you can use a pair of scissors. There we go, cut it. Like that, well, down, down a bit more. That's it, then we cut it along there, along that line there. You see it? Oh, cut it along that line. Oh. And almost finished this. You want to, I'm going to show you where I finished it. I'm going to have almost finished it. So, and then you, you put your phone in, make sure you sway, it's where your speakers are, the speakers are mine, at the bottom. So, that's it, my phone will fit in there, all right? And then what we do, boys and girls, watch carefully, is we get some PVA adhesive. Give it a bit of a shake, whoa! And you put one end up there, with it. so, now when you slide down your phone, that's, make sure the slot where your phone is is sticking up, and these are lying down there, like that. All right? And then, that, that has to be right in the middle there. Is that, that's it. Right, come out a bit, come out a bit. And then you can get some PVA. Now, I'll do this on paper, because I don't want any stuff glue on my desk. And now, undo, undo the glue, come off, glue. Uh, right, and we, and we put some around this, this end first. I, I, I cheat, I use, I use, this stick glue and then you can put some around here like this it might drip a bit but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it hasn't got to be dead straight and we put it on there like this wow and then we put it on there you can see it's got all around that side you can wipe it off with your finger if you want you wipe it round like that so it gets all round it and wipe it on your paper oh, i'm wearing gloves ah, i always wear gloves and then you can put it around that side there like that don't put it where your phone goes, because otherwise your phone will get stuck and stuck in there. And then wipe it around with your finger. Um, and just leave that to dry. All right, well, it's come out. That's it, make sure it's level. Make sure the phone's on the top and it's level like that. That's right, and just leave it to dry. Now, let me, sh let me show you one that I've finished. Would you like to see what I've finished? All right. I've got it down here. But I put my things away first. But don't forget, you must never ever use one of those knives. And it's always ask an adult if they can cut it out for you. All right? Otherwise, you don't. You you be using lots and lots, lots and lots of paper cups and lots and lots of kitchen rolls. And I've got. I haven't finished it decorating it yet. But this is one I've got, and I've painted the inside black. Can you see? And the inside there, and I've painted the outside orange. Now you can do it. I, I've got to finish decorating it yet. I'm going to put all stars on. I'm going to put music signs on. Ooh, we can put music signs on with a black pen, can't we? Look, like this, boys and girls. Look at this. Look at music, music sign here. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. We can put one here, that, that facing that way, and bring it down there like that. Put that the other way this time. Okay. Yeah. And we can put another one here, facing that way again, up and down there. And this could go this way again. Right. Well, you can do all kinds of things. I mean, can't you boys and girls? So you can just, you can, you can cut pictures out of magazines and put them on. Now, it doesn't look very good, does it? Would you like to hear it? Wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Did you hear it from the other day? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, uh, so that, that's how you make it. So, oh, go off, you noisy thing. That's right. 
So all it is, boys, is two paper cups and a, and a kitchen, a, a tube out of a kitchen roll, and that's how you do it. Isn't that good? So you can make your own stereo system. I tell you what, why not make some give them boys for presents? Because they're really good. Boys and girls, I'll see you next time for some more crafts. I've got to go back to my big red chair and to finish the show. I, I, I'll see you when I get back to my big red chair. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, you're back again. Wasn't that fantastic? I just love these shows. Now, boys and girls, a lot of you have asked me where I live. And I have told you before, but I live in Australia, in a place called Queensland. It's where I live. It's really nice and warm. And it, we do have some storms and it does get cold sometimes in winter. But most of the time it's lovely and warm and the schools have got all these open playgrounds. Uh, with, and they're all covered in grass so, so they can have lots of fun there. But boys and girls, it's time for me to carry on. And don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up, let me know. But all I want is your first name, the town you live in, the country you live in, your date of birth, and how old you'll be on that day. All right, because I want to keep you safe. And you can send it to oldtomatemail.com. It'll be on the screen down here. Boys and girls, I'll see you next time on Old Tom and his big red chair. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.